This is one of the LED traffic light modules that um, Martin Davies was giving away on his channel. Um, unfortunately, this one did not in arrive intact. It had snapped right at the neck. Something happened in transit. Don't know what Royal Mail are doing these days. So I had to uh, patch it with some super glue as well as scratch off the coating to expose the traces for the red, yellow and green LEDs. This is a common cathode, so these are the anode, these lead to the anodes of each LED. Um, and patched with some wire and some solder. This patch here is is the ground plane. Um, I'm using the resistor that I've added to also um, hold the thing together. So this whole thing is now held together by solder, bits of wire, and super glue. Now Martin demonstrated how to drive this using a micro bit uh, to give the characteristic um, flashing sequence uh, observed on traffic lights in the United Kingdom. I wanted to see if I can do the same sequence uh, using 7-4 logic and a 555 timer. This uh, collection I inherited from my late father. I'm not sure if these even still work, so it'll be a good way to test them. Okay, so I have the 555 timer hooked up as a, a stable vi multi vibrator and chosen suitable resistor and capacitors to make this flash at a reasonable rate, so just for development purposes. Um, later on I think I'll increase the capacitance or increase the resistors to make it flash a bit slower. We want this to act more closely to what tra you'd expect of traffic lights. You won't be seeing traffic lights blink like this unless they're malfunctioning. I've looked up how other people have attempted to implement the traffic light sequence and the, the, the typical circuit I have seen is to use the 555 to drive a, f a 4017 chip. That's a decade counter. And they would map the LEDs to various states of the decade counter using diodes. I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm going to use this 7490 decade counter. Now this is actually a clock divider. It can divide the clock by 2 or by or by 5 or combining the two by 10. And we'll see how by dividing the clock by 5 I can actually reconstruct the sequence from the outputs. So I have the 555 A stable multi vibrator um, driving the clock input to the 7490. I'm making use of the two least significant bits out of the divide by 5 counter. So it's dividing the clock by 5 and we're using the two bits to drive the yellow and the red. So, uh, so the yellow is flashing uh, twice as much as the red is and that gives us the sequence that we require for the traffic lights. Now I added a second capacitor in parallel to slow down the clock just to clarify what is happening here. So this is now counting from 0 to 4 inclusive 
and it's expressing on its output the binary of those numbers and I'm using just two of the bits here to drive the red and the yellow so you can see it counting 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 and then 1 again 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3 so you'll notice that 4 and 0 both have these two um, not illuminated. So if I can take the two zeros and use that to generate uh, an on signal for the green, the green will be on twice as long as the red. Now that isn't too unusual. This could be like a major road and being crossed by a minor road. So you'd expect the green to stay on longer than the red. Um, now how do I generate the green signal uh, from the two outputs when they're both low? Well that, that's a NOR gate if you look at the truth table and I can put in a NOR gate here that would be a 7402 IC and now I have the 7402 quad negated OR gate uh, chip hooked up so there are four NOR gates and I'm only using one of them the inputs of which are the red and yellow outputs from the decade counter and the output of the NOR gate is driving the green LED so whenever the red and the yellow are off the green is on but the green is off when either of these two are on and that completes the traffic light sequence and as you can see it gives us the correct patterns green, green turns off yellow yellow turns off red, red stays on with yellow both red and yellow turn off to give us green and the green because this is making use of the divide by 5 counter stays on twice as long as the red does now there's one problem with the sequencing um, in, so, in some of the implementations I've seen using the 5 by 5 timer under 4017 they use the entire state space and map the same pattern uh, of having just the green on or having just the red on to multiple uh, states of the decade uh, counter so that way they got the uh, the green pattern to stay on to linger longer than when the yellow is showing you don't want the yellow to just show the same amount of duration as say the green or only having the red on because that's not the way real traffic lights work uh, so how do I get that effect as well well I can use a trick um, I can slow down the counter for the green and the red but have the counter go fast for the yellow and I can do this by first slowing it down increasing the capacitance of that capacitor and secondly if I want whenever the yellow shows up shorting out that resistor with using a bipolar transistor so I have an NPN bipolar transistor bipolar junction transistor so it's a collector emitter is bridging let's see pins 6 and 7 respectively the base of this bipolar junction transistor um, is driven by the yellow output so whenever the yellow goes uh, illuminates it shortens the pulse of that is coming out of the 555 timer because that resistor is shorted out 
So, and uh, I think that's the 450 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, so that more or less dominates the equation that determines the period of the oscillations of the um, A-stable multivibrator. So with that shorted out, you, it should have a very short period only when the yellow is lit. And as we can see here, the green stays on long, yellow only briefly, and red stays on for a long time, and then yellow only briefly back to green. Now, if I now swap out these capacitors for something of a higher capacitance, we can have yellow staying on for a second or two, and these for um, many seconds longer. So I have a 10 microfarad capacitor in place on the 555 timer. And so that now slows the entire process down. So this green LED now stays on for more than 10 seconds. This stays on for just a second or so. The red stays on for at least 7 seconds, I think before the yellow turns back on, but only briefly before it go back to the green.